Hi folks, I could use some, uh, some advice or some help here. So here's the shop, and I wanted to quickly mention what I'm thinking for the layout. Give you a quick pan view and the door there. So I'm thinking the air compressor will fit underneath the stairs right there. There's actually already a plug. And the question is then, I may keep my compressor and do a silencer type baffle box, and that's uh, I should be able to punch through the wall there and go uh, outside for that, I think. Um, the only thing I care about now is I'm meeting the electrician at three o'clock today to run the power drops, and I want to try to do that as best I can. Obviously keep it flexible, but what I'm thinking is uh, where that barrel is will be my desk, and then next to it, and actually let me interrupt, let me post a picture uh, here of the layout as well, so that you can think, see what I'm thinking. But basically, Tormach Mill will be where those uh, fence, orange fence stuff is. Lathe will be come up lathe in the corner, and then I'll create a row right behind it with the manual lathe and the bridge port. Behind that, I'm, I think Jared and I will build a little Christmas tree thing to hold raw material because otherwise I don't have a great 12 foot span. Unfortunately, the length of this piece here is only 10 feet, so I think that'll be decent for raw material. I'm going to try to keep the area in front of the roll-up door open uh, for obvious reasons, at least for now. Then the plasma will go underneath the hood, maybe on the left side, and the uh, welders, and I, I got to get a welding table because the one that we were using was my grandfather's, um, but that and will go over there, and that'll be sort of Jared's section or the fab section. I guess less ideal because it's further away from the roll-up door though. Um, so maybe I'll sit here and think, uh, the, the, the benefit is that exhaust fan, although you know we could move it back if we wanted to, probably not that hard. And, and then uh, in the office there, or this little section here, I was actually thinking about putting all the grinders and dirty stuff, um, maybe cover up the panel with something, uh, or but divide it there so it doesn't get unnecessarily dirty there, a little sink. Uh, let me, I'm, I don't have that picture in front of me, so let me, can't remember if I'm forgetting stuff, but the big stuff is obviously anything that's 240 or three phase, um, you know, and where it lives. So let me, uh, I'll see if I can like post this picture as well with the link in the video description. And if anybody wants to chime in before three o'clock um, East Coast time, I would welcome suggestions. Thanks. Okay, this is roughly to, the machines are roughly to scale. Left wall, 26 foot, back wall. 39 foot, um, and this here is not sh drawn in or shown, but that's that sort of um, mechanicals room with a sink and an electrical panel. So here's that roll-up door, my bench here, mill, lathe, manual lathe, bridge port, material, plasma, I I'd put sandblast there, although maybe I'll put that in this room. Um, I have 240 for compressor written there, but I think I'm going to try to fit the compressor here. Um, I think what we'll do is put the saws, like bandsaw and DeWalt, up here by the roll-up door. So again, you've got a way to get material in and um, so forth. I guess the big question is, is it worth trying to move that exhaust hood back to this side, put the dirty stuff on this side of the shop, and have the machine shop side be over here? Uh, I don't, you know, I, we can move all the other equipment. Honestly, it's not that hard even with a pallet jack. The bigger question is really um, running the power lines uh, and electric lines. That's the thought. Appreciate it, folks. Thanks.